she is Frida. She's just Frida. I just love her defiance. Everything about her was so colorful. She emphasized her, her individuality. She had her own brand. Very bold, very blatant. She was way, way, way before her time. I mostly was familiar with the typical face of Frida with the unibrow and the flowers. I knew she was a famous painter. I saw the movie. I knew that she was very colorful. I, I learned a lot actually on the exhibit, which was great. I didn't know the extent of her disability and that she died so young. I really didn't know all the sadness that she went through in her life. I did not know about the clothing and the importance of her injuries to her work. I was kind of surprised that she was communist. Just to be able to go through life and paint while lying down in bed, that I didn't know. There are so many things that she was able to express so fearlessly. She's unique. Being a proud woman who asserts herself and puts herself out there. She didn't give a, a damn what anyone thought of what she looked like. She was completely at home in her body. It's really interesting that a female artist makes her own body part of her body of art. She really wanted to explore her different versions of herself. Her fashion was an expression of self, and she al aligned herself so much with her Mexican culture. She belonged to her culture. She exuded that at all times. And you could see her style through the fashions that we have now. She was willing to cross boundaries and to be crazy and wild and loud. Her strength and her, her individualism is something that I think is really inspiring for women of many different generations. Most people think they know everything there is to know about. Frida Kahlo, but now there's a chance to go deeper and to sit back and really understand why she came to be and how she came to be and all the different parts of her. She's more than the accident. She's more than being Diego's wife. She's a fully fledged woman who really came into her own. Cuando al pasar 